Now, the major reason people need liver transplants is hepatitis C. It affects about 170 million people around the world. Now, a new study finds that interferon, a drug often used to treat it, isn't working as expected. Joining us now via satellite from Dallas is one of the main investigators of the study, Dr. William Lee from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center. Dr. Lee, welcome to the show. Thank you. First of all, would you mind telling us what you found? Interferon was working sometimes, but not always. Is that correct? That's right. So basically, we use interferon and ribavirin, two, two different agents, simultaneously to treat hepatitis C. And in about 40 to 50 percent of people, we can actually get cl total clearance of the virus. And you can stop therapy, and there's no more virus to be found six months later or five years later. That's what we consider tantamount to a cure. What we were looking at in this study are patients called non-responders, those people who didn't get clearance of the virus, the other 50 or 60 percent, if you will. And these people will progress on to cirrhosis and liver cancer. So the thought had been that interferon by itself, uh, short of getting virus clearance, might still have some benefit. It might slow down the scarring process. And what we found in this long-term study, over 1,000 patients, over four years of treatment for half of them, there was no uh, easing off of the scarring process. There was no slowing of the disease progression in the treated group compared to the controls. So they both ended up with the same number of patients having progression of cirrhosis, having liver cancer, and other liver complications. So if interferon is not working in those non-responders, then what type of treatments are available for them? Well, what we're saying is that so-called maintenance interferon is no, of no value. Don't even bother with it. And I don't think there are too many people on that therapy at present, although five years or so ago there were. So what we're looking at now are new agents, protease inhibitors and polymerase inhibitors, other drugs that act similar to the uh, HIV drugs, to rapidly stop the virus from multiplying. If you can do that, then you do get clearance of the virus, and those non-responders can become responders with these new agents. They still are being used, however, on the backbone of interferon and ribavirin, the other two drugs that I mentioned. So three drug regimens are now in, in late clinical trials. Uh, there are two different protease inhibitors that are in their phase three trials and they'll be completed probably within the next two years. And I would guess that there would be drugs approved by the FDA within about the next three years, but not in the short term, not in six months or a year. Okay, now what about a vaccine for hepatitis C? There are vaccines for A and B. Well, it doesn't seem to be uh, easy to develop a vaccine for this virus, kind of like HIV. There's no HIV vaccine either. So these viruses that rapidly mutate, rapidly change their surface proteins, are harder to pin down. It's harder to develop a specific protein that you can inject into a person that will give an immune response that will blanket the virus and, and, uh, and prevent it from uh, setting up housekeeping in the patient. So, so far, no vaccines for hep C or for HIV. Okay, Dr. Lee, uh, thank you so much for being here from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center. When you think health, think IRU.